Now as you know how you can use the IMM brush, so in this lesson we will learn how we can create them. So the collection of insert mesh brushes that comes with ZBrush is fine and all but uh, you will eventually want to make your own so that you can insert custom objects. Uh, a lot of people want to do that. Usually sometimes I do that. I create my own and for quick process I just keep on adding them. So in this video I'll go over the steps for that. So Let's make a very quick uh, horn over here. So what I will do here is that I will just go to Ascend and I will take a cone over here. It's quite big. So I will press uh, E on my keyboard to get the scale option here. Oops, I have to be on the cone here and then I have to make it smaller. Okay. And it's not as good. I can hide all these others. Go back to my drawing board. Now, what I want here is that I want to uh, reshape this cone so that it will look like it's a uh, like a horn. So I will just uh, press Control D to subdivide it a couple of times, and then I will go to my Move tool, B and V. And when I'm there, I will just make it like kind of bigger so I can easily go on the corner. Let me lock the camera, go here, and from this edge, I can push it something like this so it will become like a horn. Now I can unlock the camera. So I have this horn, you can see that how it looks like. Quite good, but what I can do here, I can uh, go to my uh, scaling mode over here by pressing uh, E, and then I can resize this way. Okay, so, and also I can put this a bit over here. Now it kind of looks are good okay so my horn basically is ready over here and you can see that also what I can do here is that I can move this push this thing down a little bit more and this part or you know to keep it as it is so I have this, my horn ready and I want to convert this horn into a, an IMM brush or I can uh, go to any IMM brush here. Suppose if I will go here and IMM tune. Okay, and here I can add this as well. And how you can just uh, simply add it. But before doing that, let's do one thing. We have to rename it. Otherwise, uh, the name of the brush will be same as this, which uh, usually uh, no one wants that. So I will just press the rename button and I will call this on or let's give it a devil horn name okay so uh, this can be added to any one of uh, these uh, you can say I am uh, existing uh, brush tool okay or what we can do is that we can create our own so to create our own let's go to the brush okay and then we can go to the create option over here okay but if you want it to be inside this you can just simply go and save as and it will be saved inside the existing but uh, I'm, we are making the new one so i'll go to create here and then inside the create we have create insert mesh so here's where it asks you if you want to make a new brush so if i will press here so if you want to append it inside the uh this IMM uh, tune brush, so you can press append. But we are creating our own new one, so I will just press new over here and it will create a new devil horn. Okay, so what I can do here is that I can uh, just go over here and you can see it's there. Now I don't need this one because I have my own uh, 
and so I can just delete it. That's all. And I can go back to you know turn on these two. Now the one that I just created right now is this one. So I can go back here and I can add it. Uh okay, one more thing I have to do here again is that subdivide it and I want to delete the higher subdivision. So I can just create my horn bush over here. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is that uh your um horn brush that you create it creates usually with the uh, perspective of the camera so let's do one thing here i will undo this one here okay and let's make uh, the another one go on okay and then what i will do here is that i will set divided uh let me hide the other one okay and let's go over here subdivide it two three times i will go to bmv okay and i will make it quite a bigger one here let me hide the dynamic here by double clicking dynamic dynamic i will basically remove it and i will just move it just like this now as i know this is being created i can go and unhide my uh, head over here so i can simply uh, see how it should be created so So this is basically how I want this bridge to be. Let me hide this one. And then what I can do here is that I can go to my insert mesh, this one, the already one that I have created. I will go create insert mesh and I will append to the one that I have. It. So now I have this one and now I can delete this. I hope this time it's fine. So let me turn these on. Okay, so. I will select this one and you can see the name we should uh, change the name but now it's created but it's okay now if I will create it you can see it is actually creating the same uh, in the same uh, like direction that we have made inside the cover uh, brush okay so that's how it actually works so you have to create the direction the way you want otherwise it will create uh the direction you you have been uh, like creating so what i can do here is that i can just make it this big here okay and then you can you know you can change or do any kind of thing uh you want okay so i hope you have understood about it uh let's do one more time and this time i will do a different approach make it cone here okay back to cone and i will go back to my move tool okay make it draw size here okay so and when i'm once i'm done i will hide this one what i'm going to do here is that i will just uh move this one here so it will stay in the center of my object now it's fine and now i can simply rotate it okay just like this and I can move it actually where I want it and I can resize it smaller
So I'm working kind of on a uh, orthographic view. You can see that. Okay, I can reduce the size. And I will go back here. Now this kind of look like good. And if I will rename this one, I can call it new horn. Okay, and then I can go back to my insert meshes here and brush and create insert mesh and append. So here I have this new one. I hope this one works now. So if I would delete this here go back here turn on my uh, uh, uh like symmetry by pressing x it's already turned on so i will just click here and make this horn okay again i have to make sure remove this okay and delete the higher one or just yeah i have to Need the higher one. Now you can see that it is creating a bit better than before it was. So this is how you can make your own uh, brushes. Maybe I could have moved it a little bit more down, or uh, maybe I have given it a height. So you can do experiments, and you can see how better you can make uh, your uh, on uh, like brushes over here, the IMM brushes. So, all right, so having an insert multi mesh brush is kind of uh, like having a drawer full of stocks models ready to add to your scene. So, at a moment's uh, notice, uh, and not just add it to the scene, but place exactly where you want it. So, at the size you want it. So that's it. Uh, having an insert multi mesh brush is kind of uh, like having a drawer full of stock models. So whenever you want to use any one of it, you can use whenever you want. You can add, you can create, and all these kind of things you can do. So if you have liked this video, please click on the like button. And if you uh, have not subscribed to, uh, to my channel yet, please subscribe it. And please help me to get more subscribers so I can have uh more uh like you know people following me and then i i will get motivated to create more and more tutorials so um please help me to uh grow more and more subscriber so i can create more and more content for them and there are more plans ahead to create so uh, we'll meet in the next class and until then enjoy your day